Booker Talk and Shit Talker is back again. I did many videos yesterday of um, how the Kinsey Syndrome has reached our children, the melanated ones. However, when you begin to put these videos up and you are giving out truth and you are showing the invisible ones and now people can begin to if they don't see the invisible ones they can at least begin to think and some will begin to study like never before that means that people who us not people i take that back us who are giving out this truth it does not matter what nation you are from but if you are giving out any truth to show the invisible ones to people they will do all kind of crazy shit to you i know they take my videos they even can snatch my videos out of my machine and then put them back they did that to my phone too so this morning i yesterday see it says 2 18 p.m so yesterday I put in some videos for them to go through. Even this here one it says four twenty three PM, okay? So they should have come behind this. But it did not. And my son gets on and I say, Do not let that window down because I have videos um downloading to YouTube. And when I wake up this morning he says, Your video still has um, so many minutes on it to download. He said, it's been like that forever. And then the other one said pending. Now, I have never seen pending in my YouTube account. Never. Not on the machine. I saw it two days ago in my phone. That was the first time I saw pending in my phone. Why is my video pending? Because someone is watching it. And then they like to play games to have it appear that I am babbled. And that's why. Make me babble, motherfucker. I live in Babylon. How can you live in Babylon and not be babbled? Babble means to be confused. And the word confused is con. It's also C-O, which is company. So these motherfuckers are in company to con us. And who is it? And the word fuse is you as. Who are they confusing? They are conning us. And still who are they? Take the us. Put periods in between. And you will get the United Snakes. Now someone will say to me, all oh, this stuff happens in all places. It may happen in all places. But guess what? I am not in all places. I am only here in the United Snakes. And this is where I was born this time. And I was born here more than once. They don't want you to know that. They don't want you to get into your pineal gland. They do not. My daughter had a toothache. And I know I told this story before, but there are many, many avenues to this story that my daughter found. When my daughter had that toothache, she found GMOs. I knew of GMOs, but I did not study them, but she went to study it, so she found deeper than what I had, and she told me about it. So, in these GMOs, Things are happening. They took my thoughts, but I still have something else to say. And I tell them that. Every time you take my thoughts, that's fine. There's another thought standing right there. So, my daughter, she finds this stuff, right? And so she gets into GMOs and finds that one of the ingredients to GMOs is mercury. Which that kind of baffles me. Baffles me to be confused too. 
Because when I took science in fourth grade, I learned that we are not even to touch mercury. That mercury can kill you. And it can do this and that. Well, it could be doing these things to people. People do have high blood pressure. People have headaches all the time. Um, mercury can do things to you. Maybe mercury just kills you slowly. And by me being a fourth grader, learning science, maybe I thought mercury will kill you really quick. Because I thought mercury will kill you really quick, but I see that it is killing us slowly. Now, when she told me all of this information, for some reason, I asked her, did you find that mercury can make you gay? And she said, no. So I'm in front of my machine, she's in front of her machine, but she's looking something else up. She's trying to find something that she found so that she could give it to me. But it was not there. They had taken the page away. But she still was trying to find it. So I type in, does mercury make people gay? And it said that it would make birds gay and other types of animals even fish. So now, just say that we do have animal DNA because they did research animal DNA first. And we do come in a bag and we last in that bag for so long. And then we come out of a bag and there's water. And our skin is wrinkled when we are born. Maybe like a fish, they change fish too. They change birds and wolves, I think it was. I really don't remember all the animals, but I remember birds and fish. So now, if they can change them and make them gay, what do you think mercury will do to us? And they are putting it in our foods and everything. So everything is really not technology. Some things are physical, but it is invisible to us. And then the handlers get in our minds, and they make us not want to hear. Like, okay, I found out about the GMOs and the food. I knew about that, but I did not go into depth and research it, but my daughter did, and I know I said it before. So once my daughter researched it like that, I began to research it too. And I began to put all this stuff on my Facebook page. And no one cared. And then one day I was telling someone because they were eating the cloned meat. And I knew it was cloned meat because of the way it smelled. That is how I knew it was cloned meat. And they were eating this chicken that already has seasoning on it. Why does it already have seasoning on it? Because it is cloned, so they need to season it for you. And when I saw these people cooking and shit, I was like, hold up, you're telling me you're going to bring chicken home from the store. And you're not going to wash your chicken. You're going to trust the store to wash your chicken? Oh, if I wash it, I wash the seasonings off. Hmm. You don't even know what seasonings they use. They could be skin from people. You don't even know. But I didn't say that part. Okay, so, then I told them about the toothpaste, the fluoride in the toothpaste. So one day, this person um, was cooking something, some, some hamburger meat, and it smelled like a dead animal. <laughs> I know hamburger meat is a dead animal, but to me it has never smelled like dead animal, but that did. And I began to tell her that that is cloned meat. And a lot of things that you feed to children are filled with GMOs. We can't get away. And so she said, this is what she said. I wish people would stop telling me what's in my food. I said, no, you don't. You don't wish people would stop you from telling you what's in your food. You wish I would stop you from telling you what's in your food because I'm the only one telling you. But she let me know that people do not want to know this. Do you think I told her anymore? I was going to say, and all the stuff you feed your children are nothing but GMOs. We cannot get away from GMOs. 
You can. But you have to learn to eat less. People say, oh, you can get um, organic um, fruits and vegetables. Well, do you have organic fruits and vegetable money? It costs way more to GMO a product than it does to give me a product that is original. How about that? But yet, the original product, which costs less for them to put in the store, will cost me more. I am not going to pay $2 for a 10 or 15 cent orange just to have seeds in it. No. So I eat the GMOs, but I eat less. Now, so I find out that people don't want to hear that. I found out about the vaccinations, the people around me, just their babies, go right out the door to the clinic to take their babies to get these vaccinations. When I have given you all this information on vaccinations, and not only that, when I found out about GMOs, I find this female doctor. Mm. I don't think she is American, though. And she is telling people about the vaccinations, and she is a baby doctor, a baby physician. Yes, and she is telling people. Now, a baby doctor is coming to tell you what these doctors are doing to your baby, and you dismiss it. Something is wrong now. Something is truly, truly wrong now. To me, something is wrong. And the same person that said, I wish people would quit telling me what's in my food, is the same person that went and told people that I did not have it all. How about that? I had all the information you needed for GMOs. I even had the information on how to eat these damn GMOs. So that they will not have you wacko. They will not be able to to move you around. I want to, um, oh, get back to this for a minute. And then I'm going to show you that. Now, putting these up yesterday, and they do this to us. So that we will appear to be Babylon. And as I said, we do live in Babylon. So... When these videos, I, I came back this morning and I saw that they were pending and shit, fuck you. I don't know what your pending meaning or whatever that bullshit is. So I'm going to put them up and I'm going to leave the numbers just as they are. I'm going to put it up just like that. Because I am tired of naming this bullshit. It's just bullshit. And I also like that it says 22 strands of DNA and 26 the day I was born, on the 26th, 2 and 6 is 8. Now here the 2 and 6 can fight, and the 6 appears to be more than the 2, and they can fight. The 2 is sons and daughters, the 6 we know on earth to be the beast. So one day, I was doing a montage and finding out so much stuff on the 26th. So I said to my Abba, because I am his daughter. And I said to my Ima, because I am her daughter. And I said to the beast, I am not going to be in your tug of war shit. That shit goes all the way back to Job. Well, God and, and the devil strode through the garden of what the fuck ever. And God asked Satan, from whence thou come, and Satan say, from going up and down and to and fro on the earth, or up and down the earth, and to and fro on the earth, what the fuck ever. But now, someone is starting to play a game with me. And I think maybe it is because the day I was born, two and six. Two and six is eight, where I come from, eight equals life, because it goes like this. This is why they tell us, oh, these are our DNA strands. I've never seen a DNA strand in my life. I've only seen what they told me are DNA strands. Do you think I think that those are DNA strands? Hell no. I look at it and I know that it is the number eight. And that is why they make the DNA strands like that. And then they put little lines in it as though they are lattice. 
This is let up, bitch. I look at that shit. The number eight is life. And your ladders lead me to Jacob. Jacob's ladder. Who is Jacob? Jacob is Israel. Who is Israel? I am. I am that I am. And you and no one else can tell me that I am not. And the only reason you will tell me that I am not who I am is because you don't know who you are. If you say, oh, I am a Christian, I'm not going to say in your face, oh, you're not a Christian. If that's what you say you are, then that is what you are. If you say I am black, then to me you are black. If you say I am a more, to me you are a more. I am a Hebrew Israelite, you are a Hebrew Israelite. If you say I am an activist, you are an activist. If you say I am a victim, then to me you are a victim. These are things you say you are. Who am I to tell you that you are not? But yes, I say I am not a victim and you tell me that I am. I say, oh, I have no beliefs before I can say I deleted them. You quickly butt in and say, oh, yes, you do. You just have to dig deep for them. Who the fuck does that? If I say I have no motherfucking beliefs, then God damn it, I have none. And I am so tired of people coming to me and I am talking to them and they are so deep buried in their beliefs that they do not have to go and dig for them. The beliefs are right there on the surface, and it is screwing them up and fucking them up and keeping them in slavery. And guess who else it is keeping in slavery? Mm-hmm. My dumbass. Your ignorance keeps me and everyone else, you, your children, your grandchildren, and your great-grandchildren to come in slavery and to keep us in slavery in the word slavery is the word A V E. And here is a C, but I said A V E, which is Cave Avenue. We walk down the avenues of hell. In the word hell, you have two L's. That is a kick ass God. In the word hell, you have E L. In Hebrew, E-L is God. So God is in hell also. And they tell you that. That his first son to two-thirds of the holy angels. What word is it? Is in angels. Although it starts with an A, here we are in America. But it also has E-L. So he took two-thirds of the gods and brought them down here to hell. And now we are stuck here with them. And you guys act like you do not care. Shit talker. Now you both.